This week in maths, we will be learning about time. This is a clock. We use a clock to tell the time. The red hand is the minute hand. This shows how many minutes are past the hour. The blue hand is the hour hand. This shows what hour it is. On this clock, the minute hand is pointing to 12 and the hour hand is pointing to 8. That means the time is 8 o'clock. On this clock, the minute hand is pointing to 12 and the blue hand is pointing to 2. That means the time is 2 o'clock. On this clock, the minute hand is pointing to 12 and the hour hand is pointing to 6. This means it is 6 o'clock. What time is it on this clock? Well done, it's 3 o'clock. What time is it on this clock? Excellent, it's 10 o'clock. You also might know about a digital clock. This is the time shown on iPads, on your mobile phone, on cameras, on the computer. We know if we look at the two numbers at the beginning, this tells us the hour. The two numbers at the end tell us the minute. On this clock, the time is 8 o'clock. This clock shows 3 o'clock. In digital time, it is shown like this. This clock shows 10 o'clock. In digital time, it looks like this. What time does it show on this digital clock? Well done, it's 7 o'clock. What time does it show on this clock? Excellent, it's 11 o'clock. This week we will also be learning to tell the time to half past the hour. If we look at this clock, we can see that half of the clock is orange. When the minute hand is pointing to six, so half of the clock, it means half past. We can see that the hour hand is between the 9 and the 10 because it has gone past 9 o'clock. So this clock shows half past 9. On this clock, the big hand is pointing to 6 and the minute hand is pointing between 12 and 1. It has gone past 12 so the time is half past 12. On this clock, the minute hand is pointing to 6 and the hour hand is pointing between 3 and 4. It has gone past 3, so the time is half past 3. What time does it show on this clock? Excellent, it's half past six. And what time does it show on this clock? Well done, it's half past eleven. In digital time we can also tell half past because the numbers at the end are 30. This is because there are 60 minutes in one hour and half of 60 is 30. 
So the two numbers at the start show the hour, and the two numbers at the end show the minute. So the time on this clock is half past eight. This clock shows half past four. In digital time, it looks like this, 4.30. This clock shows half past seven. In digital time, it looks like this, 7.30. What is the time shown on this digital clock? Well done, it's half past five. And what is the time shown on this digital clock? Fantastic, it's half past one. This week we will be learning to use the words next, before and after. Let's have a little look at Ravi's evening. First, at five o'clock in the evening, he played with his toys. Second, at six o'clock in the evening, he read some stories. Third, at half past six in the evening, he had a bath. And fourth, at seven o'clock in the evening, he watched television. What did Ravi do before he read some stories? So he read some stories at six o'clock. What did he do before that? Excellent. Before that, he played with his toys. What did Ravi do after he had a bath? So Ravi had a bath at half past six. What did he do after? Well done. He watched television. This week we will also be comparing and estimating time. We can use these words to help us to compare time. These words are earlier and later. Both Lulu and Sam left their homes at eight o'clock in the morning. Lulu arrived at school at half past eight. Sam arrived at school at nine o'clock. We can say that Lulu arrived earlier than Sam because half past eight is before nine o'clock. We can say that Sam arrived later than Lulu because nine o'clock is later than half past eight. Here is a calendar. This is for the year 2014 and shows the month of June. There are seven days in one week. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Sunday to Thursday are all called weekdays. Friday and Saturday are called weekends. June is a month of the year. There are 30 days in June. The first day of the month falls on a Sunday and the last day of the month falls on a Monday. This is a calendar for all the months of the year in 2014. There are 12 months of the year and the first month of the year is January and the last month of the year is December. I hope you enjoy learning about time this week. Happy learning!